the way we're able to determine where a user is looking is by painting a set of eye, uh, infrared uh, LEDs on your eye. That image is read by a camera, which uses some advanced mathematics, machine learning, and AI to then determine, based on the pattern on your eye, where exactly you're looking. Okay, so I'm going to walk over to my dog and see what my dog is up to. This is Toby's dog room. Hi, Gina. How's it going? Svenska Toby är marknadsledande i eye tracking, det vill säga ögonspårningsteknik som ger insikter till forskning, men även är högt eftertraktat inom sektorer som gaming och bilindustrin. Over the last two decades, we've increased our technology capabilities to not only look at where your eye is looking, but to measure other aspects of biometrics that we can determine from your face. For example, potentially how open your eye is, uh, where is your head facing. Many of these signals create more value and we believe now that we're in a new space we call attention computing. Syftet med tekniken är som det låter att mäta och tolka personers uppmärksamhet. I nuläget är ögonspårning särskilt eftertraktat i den snabbväxande gamingsektorn och Tobis teknik levereras till flera tillverkare av VR headsets. En av fördelarna ska vara att det är möjligt att sikta och plocka upp föremål genom ögonen. We think that gaming is one of our big vertical focus areas for Toby as a company. We think that there's a lot of promise in using our technology to make more intuitive and immersive game experiences. Recently, at the end of last year, we talked about the integration of our technology into Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is one of the marquee flight simulation titles being used in the world. And there, our technology is used to help players feel like they're more immersed in that environment, to really feel like that they're flying the plane. We think, of course, there's an extension to gaming in the virtual reality space as well as more and more VR games are delivered. Today, we see our technologies being used in six vertical markets today. Gaming, extended reality, which is virtual and augmented reality, healthcare, behavioral studies and consumer research, automotive, uh, and education and training. When we look at how these markets are in terms of readiness for scale, we think that gaming and consumer uh, research and behavioral studies are ready to scale today. In the next one to three years, we think virtual reality is ready to scale as well as education and training use cases. And then in the next three to five years, we think markets like automotive uh, will be scaling with our technologies. I think the size of the gaming market is well understood. It's a very large industry today. You know, if you look at numbers, there are anywhere from 500 million PC gamers in the world. Uh, it is truly the frontier of entertainment, the next stage of it. We think that our technologies are in the early stage of adoption, but we think in an area like virtual reality, we think that our technologies are a must-have to deliver the kind of visual uh, experience that users want. Toby ser sig som marknadsledande inom så kallad attention computing och siktar nu mot fordonssektorn. For most of the vertical markets that we compete in, we are clearly the leader in the space. We have significant scale in terms of our resources, our investment into R&D, our IP portfolio, our product set. Uh, in automotive driver monitoring systems specifically though, we are a challenger. We announced our entry into the space last August and there is of course a strong ecosystem of incumbents though we are quite uh, confident that we are going to build a strong credible position in that space as well.